One, two, three. We are here to um, celebrate the dedication of uh, the bridge evaluation and structural testing facility here at Rutgers University. And the idea behind this facility is to be able to test and evaluate the performance of bridges in a very compressed time. It normally takes about, let's say, 20 to 25 years for bridges to show wear and tear. We could compress that time to one year, so we'll be able to learn about the performance in such a compressed time frame. All right, so as you can see, the, uh, the, the beast itself is uh, placed on uh, two uh, end frames and these end frames are on rail carts. You can see one on the near side and you can see one on the far side. The way it works is that we, we, we bring a full scale bridge deck and we place it here and we have uh, two axles of truck load, uh, almost 60,000 pounds, which travels on this bridge deck at roughly 20 miles per hour and 12 to 20 miles per hour and we could do this 24 seven and at the same time we can change the temperature within this um, chamber where the bridge deck is placed from uh, freeze, uh, freezing to uh, basically thawing. Uh, we could uh, from zero to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and we could also make it wet and dry and also spray salt. Essentially uh, punish the bridge uh, and make it go through uh, the conditions that it will normally go through during its service life. We're going to be using uh, these imaging tools and different types of sensors to quantify uh, how the bridge deteriorates so we can simulate it. We'll also try to identify uh, what are the sort of tools that could be used to prolong the life. So maybe the first specimen is a typical specimen. Uh, the next specimen, we might try some new things, try some new materials and look, you know, does this give us, instead of 50 years of bridge life, does it give us 100 years of bridge life? And that's really the, probably the cheapest way and the fastest way to reduce the life cycle cost of, of bridges. So that's exciting to me. <laughs>